where do you feel like the feedback loop plays in that? So such a critical part of the trust uh, relationship building. Uh, you know, uh, what it does is it really gives, it enables people. You're, you're enabling them to say, hey, I can raise my hand and say something. Because guess what? If you're a leader, your team members, they see what's going on. Mm -hmm. This is working. This isn't working. Our clients like it. They don't like it. But if they don't feel enabled to raise their hand and say, hey, Whitney, something's not working here, you know, because they're afraid of the repercussions they're going to get from that. Uh, that's bad. And that problem doesn't that doesn't mean the problem went away. It just means it's hiding at the water cooler instead of on your desk. Right. And the the story I, I, I like to share there is such a simple one, because the important part about this, this one is that the bar is low. So. I had a, a remote team long before remote was, you know, the norm. Cool. And we did, right? <laughs> yeah. Fashionable. Yes. And uh, <laughs> we, uh, uh, you know, we did tons of conference calls. I just kind of took the schedule my prior manager uh, had. And we just, every, we had, seems like we were sort of you know, death by conference call. So I reached out to a guy in the team and said, hey, so I said, hey, Brian, you know, I don't feel like we're communicating that well as a team and kind of getting a lot of value out of all this communicating we do, communication we do. What would you do if you were me? And he said, I'd get rid of a bunch of these calls we do. <laughs> There's some honesty for you. Yes. Right. And so I looked at the calendar. I always mapped them out 12 months at a time. And I simply took out the ones that were Memorial Day and pushed it to Tuesday. That was what I did. Labor Day pushed it to Tuesday. Wherever there was a holiday or a conference, I just pushed it a day and kept it. I just knocked those out. You know, so it knocked out, I think, 15, 17% of the calls or something like that. Wow. Sent out a note to the team. Hey, everyone. Brian thinks we have too many calls. <laughs> so we're going to try a pilot. That's a very important word, by the way, in leading change, pilot, because it sort of invites people into we're trying something new as opposed to this is a new thing that's, you know, that's happening to you. So I said, Brian thinks we have too many calls. We're going to try a pilot this year uh, with fewer calls. So and I, I've been asking people for feedback at this point a bunch as a leader already. And uh, I sent out the note, gave him credit for it. Invites popped off their calendars. Fast forward to the end of the year, Whitney. And I said, last call of the year, I said, hey, everyone, the pilots, you know, we're at the end of the year. Should we go back to the old schedule? And this was, I mean, to say the silence was deafening would be an understatement. And guess what? We had a blowout year. And if I had to get something out to them, I could I could make a one-off call to say, hey, everyone, you need to learn about this or whatever it might be. But I mean, how hard was that to do? Mm -hmm. And that really was a turning point where people said, hey, this guy's asking us for our feedback, but he's actually going to, if I come up with a good idea, he's going to do something with it. Mm -hmm. And just a really powerful exercise. And 